if you thought that that looked pretty fun well i'll show you how to build one of these for about 15 bucks super easy um just needs a heat gun and a piece of pvc pipe um this build is a little bit longer than my other builds but you know what i went to a little bit more detail uh because i want you guys to be able to build one of these so buckle in it's going to be a fun build uh, on my first pcv boat that i did do and i had a lot of reactions wanting to see a build so we're going to build one today now this particular bow is 58 inches long i made it with inch and a quarter um schedule 40 pvc and it draws over 50 pounds i just tried it out to today my little scale so it does draw over 50 pounds so i am pretty excited uh, there are aspects of this bow i'm not too happy about uh, my limbs aren't perfect and uh my ends aren't perfect but it's been fun uh i've actually been doing not too bad had some pretty good groupings in the 10 yard range so the next bow we're gonna make is actually gonna be out of one inch so this might have a tiny bit less uh draw weight but that's okay um i want to see how the one inch fit my hand if it fits a little bit better um so this is schedule 40 pvc uh there's two different kinds this one is actually electrical conduit you can get also a water pipe which is also schedule 40 and that's the white pipe basically the gray pipe is really good if you're in colder climates so i'm gonna be shooting my bow a lot in the fall and stuff so i mean all, all summer but i also want to shoot in the fall so this might be a little bit better. The white will perform a little bit better than the than the gray, but it is a more brittle bow. I will be making one out of each, and I'll be shooting them both all summer, and uh, we'll see longevity-wise which one is better. So let's get started. This uh, piece, I actually cut it down to 36 inches. So that's going to be the overall length of this particular bow. It's going to be a uh, what they call a horse bow. So let's get... Uh, Let's get this thing um, measured out and I'll show you the points of where you need to uh, put your marks. So where you can start bending, where you're gonna start heating. So we're gonna make our first few uh, lines here. So we got 56 inches. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find uh, your middle spot, which at 56 inches, going to be 28 so 28 that's gonna be their center now from center for your handle I like to go two and a half inches this way and then we go one two two and a half inches this way and then one inch away from that two and a half inch mark that's where you're gonna really want to uh, start bending so again one inch from your mark boom like that now as for the tips the tips, you're going to come uh, nine inches down. Same with this side, you're going to come nine inches down. And that's going to be your tips. So, boom. All right, so now we got all our marks. So now we can start heating. Now, before I start this, uh, obviously. I didn't come up with this idea myself. I actually got quite a bit of inspiration from another uh, YouTuber that actually, that's his whole channel is basically PVC bows, all different kind of bows. Uh, so uh, you can definitely check his channel out if you want uh, to see all different kind of ideas. His name is Backyard Boyer. And uh, like I said, great information. Um, does a lot of cool stuff on there. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a heat gun and we're going to be uh, heating up the PCV, this PCV pipe. Uh, I also want to show you guys this quickly. So I did make uh, a flattening jig and all it is, this is actually two pieces of hardwood. I didn't have any scrap two by four sitting around, but basically I screwed in two screws here. The screws are one inch long because again, this is one inch. So I don't want to squish this part down. I want to make a nice taper all along here. Um, so when you can see, I put a couple two by fours underneath to kind of raise it that way I can get my clamps in there. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start heating this. So I do recommend a pair of gloves. Um, this does get pretty hot. And 
Um, what I would recommend also doing is just getting a piece of tin foil, some sort of reflective material to put behind the piece. It's just going to help uh, heat the piece up a lot faster. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and start heating this up. It's going to take a little while. I think it takes close to 10 minutes before uh, it's really soft enough for you to do what you want to do with it. So just don't be impatient with it. You can use a stove top. Uh, you can use a fire. Um, heat gun is just the, the nicest option because it really uh, heats up that PVC evenly and you don't run the risk of overheating the PCB and actually making it very very brittle. So. I find that these screw screw clamp type are definitely the best for, to do this with. They seem to uh, definitely work the best. That's looking pretty good. So yeah, so just give it a few minutes. Just let that set, and we'll come back to it. So there she is. Um, the end isn't squished right down, but you know what, it doesn't matter because we got to do a kind of reverse bend there. So, I'm pretty happy with that taper. I'm going to do the other side now. And then uh, we're just going to straighten this out, make sure that she's even before we start uh, bending, bending the tips down. So there we go, got both ends uh, all squished and tapered here. So, you can see, it's nowhere straight. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up, I'm going to straighten this right out first uh, before we move on to the tips. So before I, before I actually shape my handle, I'm actually just going to uh, just hold this to get this nice and straight. kind of cleaned up the tapers. Might have to do uh, a little bit more straightening out in this section. That's okay. Now let's work on the tips. So remember we made that line right here at your nine inch mark. So now you always want to uh, you always want to start um, heating up the flats. Don't start on the edges because that's just going to make everything brittle. Start heating up those flats you're going to see once it starts bubbling and gets soft then you can start working on the edges as well and you're going to see it's going, to, it's going to come back to almost round that's the cool thing about PVC it's very forgiving you make a mistake and you easily heat it up and correct all your mistakes alright guys just get the tips out of the jig here for the tip, I'll show you what they look like. All right. So there we go. Got my tips. But as you can see, um, they're not centered. This taper looks pretty gross. So here's a uh, time for some fine tuning. All right, guys. So this part is where we start fine tuning the tips. So what I'm going to do take my heat gun here. I'm 
And all I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this section right where the taper is. All we're going to undo, first things first, let's fix that taper up. And we want to make sure that this tip is going to sit nice and centered. up a little bit more at a time. Just keep working until it uh, looks good, right? Nice looking paper. Off to the other side. So, next step is you actually, we're going to be cutting these, uh, these tips down a bit just to make them look real nice so you see so I'm just gonna be cutting this whole section off right here and then we're gonna take the heat gun and we're gonna close that up real nice I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side there's real no measurement for this I kind of just wanged it that's okay that's what we do here all right so there you go. So I'm just going to cut this out. So there we go. Got, got my tips all nice there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to heat just this section up and I want to close that section up. So alright guys, so there we go. We got our, our basic frame design. Now if you guys are liking what you're seeing so far, just give me a big like down at the bottom there, alright? Alright. So now the last thing is, we are going to shape this into a bow shape. Easy enough, right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, heat this section up. But you don't want to heat it as hot as before. You just need to heat up a little bit just to get some shaping out of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this to where I want it. I'm going to make a nice mark on my bench. And then we're going to do the same thing the other side. So this is how I like setting this bend in, into it. Just using my knee. And then the other side. So I'm going to mark it from the center of the handle out to here. And that's going to be my my curve. So I'm going to try to follow that on the other side. So there we go. We got that basic shape. Now what I want to do, what I did with my last one, is right here, I heat it up right here. And all I did was bend these back a bit to give you, uh, if you look at this, see how this is set in like this? So that's what I'm going to go and do with this one. So as I do my set in, it's also a good time to just make sure everything is nice and straight, nothing's crooked. Right now is the time to do it. ourselves a bow. So now just gonna put the knocks in. Really really easy. Alright so now we're going to do our knock which is super super easy. Basically take a half moon file and go a few inches down. And see all I do is just I go until I'm just, just, just through. So same thing with this one. So let's see. Got a thumb in a bit. So a thumb in a bit. There we go. So I got two knocks. Okay. So the bowstring for today, I'm just going to make it out of paracord. Uh, paracord isn't, uh, let's say, the best bowstring. It is a little slow. But if you're just 
playing around in the yard, whatever, it's no big deal. Um, when I do make a hunting bow, I will be putting a uh, proper bowstring on there. So, I'll, and the thing with paracord too, it does stretch. Some guys will tie like a 45 pound weight and hang this for 24 hours. All I do is I add an extra, um, just half an inch to the length of my bowstring to account for stretch. So what I'm gonna do here for my first loop is I'm gonna make a perfection loop. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys on the camera. If you guys really wanna learn this knot, uh, you can YouTube it or one day I will be doing some videos on knots. But basically you just make a, your loop like this, go around, go around again, like that. Tuck that end in, you pull that back end in. And there you go. That's a non-slip, nice non-slip knot right there. Okay, so let's see. So basically, what you want for a bowstring, you kind of want to go to the end, and you want to you want to shorten it up by like have the top of the the loop four inches down from the end of your bow bow. So this I'm going to do four and a half inches. All right, so. So four inches, so it's gonna be, the top of my loop is gonna be right here. So that's gonna be the top of my loop, All right? So just so you know, I will measure it out. So this particular bowstring is gonna be 46 inches loop to loop. That's what I'm aiming for. So there we go. 46 inches loop to loop. We'll give that a go. Just cut off the excess. And because it's paracord, it will fray. Let's just take a lighter. Heat up the end. So basically you want your your bowstring to be roughly that far. Well, doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I definitely say this has a little bit less draw than the last one, but that's gonna be pretty fun to shoot, I think. So while my bow's outside uh, cooling off. I made myself a little arrow rest because I didn't do that on my last one. So I'm going to end up doing a paracord wrap handle. I'm not going to go into detail about how to do a paracord wrap. I will do that in a later video. This video is already going to be long enough as it is. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap the handle and then I will get a couple uh, arrows down range. I'm also going to do a draw test see how much poundage we got on this. Bow. So here's my... Uh draw gauge really I made it pretty simple uh, I just have a rapella <laughs> fish weight and basically it tops out at, at 50 pounds so my last one actually topped it out so let's bring it down here so at 28 we are 45 pounds so, so this got this has 45 pounds at 28 inches. So I am pretty happy about that. Uh, I definitely did have to tweak it a little bit. Um, once I got the string on, I pulled on it. I noticed that it wasn't very even. I won't be doing the paracord wrap just yet. I actually want to sand this down and paint it before I do my wrap this time. So um, yeah, let's go get a couple arrows down uh, down range here. I only have two arrows right now. I actually got some more ordered. Uh, they are also not the best arrows, and I'm also not the best shot yet. So let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, that one shoots way better than my other bow. Way, way better. <laughs> How's that for a group? <laughs> Not too shabby. Like I said, that bow shoots way better than my last one. 
Uh, I did notice that I do need to tweak it just a tiny bit more, but hey, there we go. There's a PVC bow with a 45 pound draw weight. So technically I could hunt with that. I'm obviously gonna perfect it over the summer. I'm gonna practice, 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 and then hopefully you guys are gonna see me get a deer with the PVC bow this, uh, this fall. But anyways, if you guys like that build, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe down at the bottom. I got a lot of great videos coming up, especially this summer. Gonna be a lot of fly fishing, a lot of, uh, I'm gonna do a couple collaborations too with a couple of local guys. We've got a poker tournament coming up. So that's lots of fun stuff on the way. So again, thanks again for watching guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.